Welcome! Today I'm going to show you how to make DVD covers. DVDs like this are great to give to your customers on a high dollar item that you sell on a regular basis. Some examples of this might be fire pokers or even pot racks. At the end of this video, I will have some recommended items that you can use when you're making a DVD such as this. Make sure also you check out the video I have in the description below, which is five reasons why you should be making videos. Let's go to the computer and I will show you how to use Avery to make a cover like this. To begin, we'll go to avery.com to start making our labels. You will want to sign in to My Avery. You will see this on the upper right hand side of the screen. If you do not have a My Avery account yet, you can enter your name and your email and create a password. Press create account to get started. Signing in will take you to My Avery page, which will have past designs if you have created any. We are going to click start a new project. It is the green button on the upper right hand corner. It will load a menu and you can select the CD and DVD labels and inserts on the menu. It will give you a bunch of options. We're going to use number 5692. Scroll down until you find it and then you can click select this product. It will load up a list of pre-made templates and you can pick one that you like or create one from scratch. They come in different color schemes and fonts. All of that can be customized further. I'm selecting this option near the top. All you have to do is click select this design. Once it has loaded the template, you can start adding your image and other customizations. To add your image, go to Image, Add Image, select from Computer, and Browse for Files. When you find it, all you have to do is click Open. Your image will pop up small in the center of the circle. You will need to click fill the page and also you will want to lock the aspect ratio. Next you can add text or just select the text box already that's there and type in your wording. You can click and drag the box where you want it. To change text, click on the box, then select a different font and size as desired. Little guides will pop up to help you know where to line it up on the page. Click Preview and Print and look over any warnings. Then you can go to Print It Yourself, which is on the upper right hand corner on the green box. You will click Print Now. It will pop up a box to save it. 
and you can give it a title so that you have a backup in case there is any problems when you go to print it. Then click Save to My Avery. This is a good backup to have for all of your designs. Then you hit OK and it will give you the notice about when you go to print this. As it points out there, you never select fit to page in your printer settings. At the bottom, you can click open. You'll see it pop up right down there at the gray box and open will bring it up on my computer. It pulls up the document as it will show on the printed page. Both of the labels are the same thing. Note how it says actual size under my printer settings. All you have to do is press print. The very first thing you'll need for a project like this is some blank DVD ROMs. I picked these up at Walmart, but if you can't find them, I'll also have a link in the description below. The next thing you will need is some CD labels. You can pick up some by Avery, but these are pretty expensive comparatively to what I'll show you next. These were about $5 and there's 15, uh, 16 face labels on this one. Now, I found a place on eBay that sells labels in bulk, and it is a nearly identical product to Avery. And if you can see it, you can faintly see the outlines here, and this looks nearly the same as what is done by Avery. So this is a very good quality product, and for about $10, I believe you can purchase 100 of these versus, versus the price for Avery's. So once you have printed your labels, it will print, you'll put your paper in like this, in my printer it goes face down, and then it feeds through. And you'll also want to make sure that you have uh, the top towards the top on your printer tray. Now it's going to print out with something like this, I've already peeled one label loose, but it will have the same design on both of these, and then you'll be able to peel it off just like a sticker, and then you got to make sure the center part stays there, and peel that all the way off. And I will put this on a DVD to show you how easy it is. Now, there's also, if you're not good at aligning this by hand, um, you can also get a product uh, called a, I believe it's a CD stomper, is what it's called. And that makes it easier to get it perfectly aligned. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. And you just press it down, and I've never had one of these peel up. They use a really good adhesive. So that is what it looks like once you get it on there. Now, once you have all your CD-ROMs to this stage, you're going to want something to display them in, or sorry, rather DVDs. So you've got them made up, and now you want to display them. Now, one thing I really like using is these crystal clear cases. They make a really nice presentation for these DVDs, and they you can see the whole entire picture of them. And if you wish to, you can uh, probably even print the little spine. There's a little piece here, you can't see it. You could probably even print a label if you wanted to and put it on the side there. But those are the crystal clear cases. And make sure you check out all my resources below if you're looking, having trouble finding any of this. So, and then there's also a more uh, economical version to the clear cases and that is just the paper sleeves and these will do these will do well they're not quite as nice a presentation but they work also so you just slide it in there with the face facing forward and then you can see that from the outside so it, it does trip you can't see quite the whole design versus these but that's up to you so I appreciate you watching this video. I hope you found this helpful. I would love to hear your thoughts if you like this video or if you'd like to see something similar to this in the future. Please let me know in the comments below and make sure you check out my recommended videos that I've done similar to this down in the description 
as well as recommended products if you're trying to make these. So thank you for watching and have a blessed day.